I've been using Castle products for a long time in my helicopters and electric airplanes. So when the speed control in my truck croaked, I went right back to Castle. A few minutes later, and I had the Sidewinder 3 coming to me. The connectors on my stock motor are too small, but I flew helicopters, so I always kept bigger bullets on hand. The Sidewinder doesn't come with a battery plug, but I keep a lot of Deans laying around, so I had that handled too. Ten minutes of soldering and some double stick tape and I had the Sidewinder installed in my chassis. There isn't a whole lot of extra space in this chassis, but the Sidewinder 3 fit in there just fine. And a water resistant switch comes wired to the Sidewinder and that makes things easier also. Castle's always been really good about instructions and documentation and the Sidewinder is no different. I know that finding this much documentation might scare some people, but the Sidewinder is really easy to use. The Sidewinder 3 has a lot of capabilities beyond just being a really good speed control. And they make it easy to program so you can decide what features you're going to use and which you won't. They even give you a gear chart that covers lots of the common models out there so you can figure out what's best for your car or truck. As soon as I started running my Invictus with the Sidewinder 3 installed, it was obvious that I had more power than I did before. Plus, the more that I actually drove the truck, the more I was finding out that you can apply the power easier with the Sidewinder because it's a smoother transition across the pull of the trigger. The Sidewinder 3 does have some programming options that might be able to help tone this down some, but I also have a new Spectrum radio with the active vehicle control. So for the time being, I'm going to leave the Sidewinder 3 delivering everything it can, and we'll try and control that with the active vehicle control. Another problem with this Invictus is that it gets so much bite, it's hard to shake the tires free and just buzz them through a corner. I might have to get me a nice two-wheel drive buggy to be a little easier to hang the rear end out as we go through these corners. Especially since my Invictus gets bite at the wrong time and knocks my camera over.